Welcome to this special bank holiday occasion at Ayrson Park, where, first of all, a presentation to Barra's manager, Bruce Reok, to mark the achievements of Middlesbrough Football Club recently, before they do battle with Manchester United, who, 24 hours previously, were beating Liverpool 3-1 at Old Trafford, with Mark Hughes in irresistible form, scoring his 12th goal in 15 games and inspiring a real winning performance. But how much is that going to take out of the side, particularly the young United players like Lee Sharp, 17 years of age, not 18 till May, and what is still an injury hit United side. In the Middlesbrough lineup, Peter Davenport. It's 11 games now since he came for £700,000 from Old Trafford to Middlesbrough, still looking for his first goal, but there's nothing wrong with his form or his confidence. So, referee John Key of Rotherham, electrical clerk of works for the council there, looks in pretty cheerful mood. Middlesbrough keep the side which did so well at Norwich, getting a point and helping knock them off the top of the first division. And very close to getting more than one point. Manchester United forced to make a couple of changes from the side who 24 hours earlier were battling heroically against Liverpool. Marvellous occasion here, the holiday crowd still coming in, well over 20,000 at the moment. And Middlesbrough hoping that after a good performance away from home, they can do it again in front of their own supporters. As for United, they've got to start picking up points on a more regular basis if they're going to challenge the top two or three. But it's been so difficult for them with so many injuries McGrath has come into the side for his first game since the beginning of October. He's pushing up from the back. It's a change at full-back. Gordon Strachan was injured in the game at Old Trafford. But anyhow, here's England captain Brian Robson with the first free kick. McGrath is in there, but he can't get it. And Middlesbrough get it nicely away. Playing it right back for United is Tony Gill, but they'll probably use more than the, the established four and traditional defenders at the back. And it's really fast and furious at the beginning. United have to go through this sort of cauldron every game they play, away from home particularly. This is Maldonaghy to Robson. Steve Bruce wide and pumping it forward with... Mark Hughes slipping. So that will ease the pressure for the moment. And first possession for Stephen Pears, a, another former Manchester United player. Free kick there. Lee Sharp, £50,000 from Torquay, was the player penalised. He's now under pressure from Ripley, who gets a a cross in and it's knocked away by McGrath. Tremendous support here for this Middlesbrough side. Really enjoying all these first division occasions and desperate to hang on to that status. Here's Ripley. Nice little one back to Parkinson. Good cross. Bruce is in there. Ripley going in again with Brian McClare and Robson. Holds the ball, makes a little space for himself well. But the competition at the moment, as you'd expect, is fast and furious. Donaghy stumbling, but finds Robson. Races away for another ball, but that's a bad one by Robson. It's picked up by Davenport here, through the middle. And Hamilton almost creating and finishing a fine Middlesbrough piece of play. And punishing, of all people, Brian Robson. Bruce. Nice little turn by Glover. Good challenge. Brennan knocking it quickly clear for Parkinson. Ripley coming back. Wriggling his way into a good position. Brennan again firing one away. This is great. First time play by uh, Burra. Davenport getting in there. McGrath stops him. It's Milne coming back 
to try and stop them. Glover, a little bit casual. And Robson's ball forward, perhaps a little bit optimistic. But the challenge after the back pass was made wasn't a good one. And Mark Hughes is booked very early on. Well, I think everybody saw that one. Certainly, referee John Key did. And that was unnecessary from Mark Hughes on Pallister. by Mal Donaghy. Good ball to Davenport. Four, they come again. United playing five at the back, really, but they need more than five just at the moment. Beardsmore gets one four, but it's uh, pretty optimistic. Bruce trying to slow it down a little bit. McGrath, Bruce, and Middlesbrough aren't allowing them to slow it down. or two for United at the back in the unaccustomed colour of blue of course playing three established defenders trying to get the fullbacks to push up so it's either five at the back or three at the back depending on the way the fullbacks are playing and they're not playing too well just at the moment it's Davenport on the break Ripley's got into the middle Davenport's done pretty well but there are too many United players there but Glover putting the squeeze on them Hughes and Pallister and a free kick. And a chance for United to draw breath. There's certainly very few people are there, some Parker. The atmosphere here really tremendous. Pallister got it away nicely. Slaven and Davenport. Ford goes Parkinson, taking the defender with him. It's McClair as it happened. Davenport checking it wide to Ripley. Ripley trying to get by Sharp. And Sharp getting a challenge in, but can you imagine what he feels like? The young left back of uh, Manchester United after that marvellous game against uh, Liverpool 24 hours earlier. He's straight into another one here. Just like the old days. Pallister in that goal area there. Slaven coming off the far post. And Bruce gets it away to Beardsmore. And out comes Jim Layton to slow it all down. Cup tie stuff here at the moment at Ayrson Park. Long beaten by Mowbray. Thump to Ford and Davenport's onto it. McGrath turns it away. Bruce to Robson. Quick check to see whether he's under threat. He wasn't. And it's a good ball forward. Appeal for handball against Ralph Milne. It isn't given. So it's Middlesbrough who have to push back for this throw. Now Donaghy. Pallister wins that one well. Parkinson to Ripley. He's under pressure from Sharp. He tries to wriggle away from it. Gary Parkinson has it. That's a confident ball to Cooper. Cooper races down the left. Hamilton to Glover. And here's Davenport turning well and holding it up superbly. And Burrow really playing some stuff here. Now Cooper. Not a good clearance. And a great challenge by Parkinson. Donaghy.
sharp for the for Hughes. Middlesbrough, of course, had that valuable break. A little bit of a rest after their fine performance at Carrow Road. And in some ways, they couldn't believe their luck, and then they grew in confidence as the game went on and should have won it. The two efforts cleared off the goal line. But they've got to start again here. Slightly fresher of the two sides, and they're keeping the pace up to make sure that point is made. But there's a free kick here. Brian McClare trying to make his point to referee John Key. Mal Donaghy doing the same. Suggesting, I feel, that one or two of the United players need a bit more protection from the laws. Bruce and McGrath. Well won by Mowbray, They're having to battle for everything as Hughes shoots, and it's well wide. But really, it's his goals and his aggressive play that have kept Manchester United, if you could call them, in the running for the championship. Certainly kept them in a respectable position. This injury hit side, they never know which sort of a team they're going to field day in and day out. Hughes has been closer to, tar to the target for the last few games anyhow. Now it's Borough pushing forward and well intercepted by Steve Bruce, swatting on it and breaking fast. Ralph Milne. Mowbray keeps him out. Claire and the shot from Lee Sharp wasn't a particularly good one. Well, the pace has hardly slackened, but United have managed to build one or two efforts in the last few minutes. McGrath seemed to have a hand up when he challenged there, but it's Davenport breaking. Davenport with a real chance, musket it. Good goalkeeping. Davenport again into the side netting. Davenport still looking for that goal. The target seemed to be there as the opening came for him against his old club, and he's not even got a corner. Still protesting. But Davenport really should have done better here. A little bit rusty with his finishing. Checked well inside Donaghy, but the goalkeeper had come out fast and protected his goal superbly. And then there are so many United players back, he couldn't hit the target. So it should have been 1-0, really, to Borough, but now it's United on the break with Hughes possibly with an opening here, but that's good defensive play by Pallister. But space here for Brian Robson, looking for the return, still going. And it was Pallister again who stopped it. And Hamilton who knocks it back. Ripley, a nice little touch on. Mowbray, a hard one. Glover does well to play it simply. And he's involved again in this build-up. Nice little piece of first-time play by uh, Peter Davenport. There was an infringement there, but referee John Key said, get on with it, although Middlesbrough are being pushed back here. One by Sharp. Back again by Brennan. Then Robson. But nobody really bringing it down with any space. Now Cooper. Forward with an opening here for Slaven. Looking for Davenport. Brennan. Who's it going to bounce to? Hamilton. Gets it wide again to Bernie Slaven. Checking back. 
Davenport couldn't quite control it. There's hardly any room for him anyhow. And Paul McGrath pumps it away. This is some react introduction to first team football for McGrath. Here's Slaven. Cut out by Tony Gill, first of all, and then an infringement. Tony Gill gets help from Mal Donaghy. Davenport bundles into Donaghy right under the nose of the linesman. Donaghy getting this one away. Beardsmore battling still, but Brennan has it and holds it up beautifully. Now Mowbray. Glover getting away from Beardsmore. Cooper. Fortunately coming to Glover. That's a hard one for Hamilton. Cooper coming back with Hughes. Beardsmore and Cooper somehow keeps it in. There's a fair bit of pushing and shoving going on here. The referee doing a his windmill act until finally he halts proceedings. And I would have thought that perhaps in these circumstances, in this sort of an atmosphere, a slightly earlier decision might have done the job. Certainly some pushing, holding and elbowing there, but not illegally according to the referee. That was it. So calm it down, says uh, the referee John Key to Gary Hamilton. Controlled by Hughes, nicely done. Brian Robson looking again for the direct pass forward to Ralph Milne, but his control wasn't nearly as good as Hughes in that earlier instance. And it's Middlesbrough building it up neatly. Again, a challenge that the referee didn't like. Brian McClare is very, very close to getting some sort of a reprimand from the referee. And he's making his point to the United captain. Getting the defender back. Forward by Sharp, in goes Mowbray. Brennan challenging Beersmore. Brennan and Beersmore once again. Bruce square to Brian McClare. And that's a hopeful one. Good chasing by Hughes, a very difficult ball. And that's a painful looking injury to Gary Parkinson. Parkinson officially on the field of play. So the game will have to be held up for him to be treated. But he was really clattered there, albeit accidentally by Mark Hughes. Parkinson going to cover, but Hughes is in there first. And as he takes the ball, Parkinson goes down and could easily have damaged ankle and knee in that rather awkward fall, and indeed it's a substitution with Mark Burke coming on. Parkinson going off, only 34 minutes of the game gone, so that's something of a blow to Borough. Burke, more of an attacking midfield player, it'll be interesting to see how Borough reorganise. Sharp won that one, but that was an aggressive piece of play again by Barra to win it back again. Mowbray playing sensibly. Sharp again winning in the air. Another infringement, once more Ryan McClare involved. 
once more. Referee John Key making his point. Well, Dean Glover looks as if he's enjoying this sort of incident more than Brian McClare is really losing his rag and perhaps a little bit of concentration. and there's no real chance of anything there. So Barra can start again. Pallister wins it. Burke back again to Pallister. Lover. And Cooper playing in the right back position coming forward, but not getting a first-time pass forward all that well. Kuba having to challenge once more as Middlesbrough lose. And Robson with Hughes bundled off the ball by Brennan. Good bit of play by Mark Brennan, and there's space on the left for Middlesbrough. Brennan goes forward into the striking position as Davenport tries to get one through but that was well held up by uh, Tony Gill, but perhaps Davenport might have got it in earlier. Well, the gate here, getting near over the thought 25,000 in very good voice. Plenty of aggressive play. Plenty of... Uh, moments of controversy with the referee pretty busy not too many chances though now donaghy a quick one to brian robson looking for the return from mcclair it's a quite a good ball but too strong for tony gill well they're used to seeing good performances at home where their record here is save them from more embarrassment because away from home they haven't done quite so well except on the last two or three occasions not necessarily win the points but they played much better certainly up at Carrow Road McGrath trying to get it forward acrobatic stuff by Robson but not accurate enough Brennan has it Brennan the sort of player who loves the occasion and indeed the physical play in midfield as well as the skillful stuff like that. Way by Paul. Straight to Brennan again. Glover avoiding the referee. Trying to bring Ripley into the game. Cooper is behind him if he's required. Ripley going alone. Appeal for offside. Given. United kept their discipline there, keeping Bernie Slaven out. Just a little push up. Slaven had drifted either level or beyond the back four, and offside it was. Monaghy under pressure by Slaven, who's gone back to cover the back pass. That's clever stuff by Slaven, putting pressure on the young fullback Tony Gill. And they win it back again. Now, Donaghy, who perhaps should have been more positive in the first place. McClare dodging away from that challenge. Flubber trying to get Ripley going once more. Across comes Sharp. And Borough get the throw. Ripley so far has been comparatively quiet, but Slaven and Davenport have been very busy. Slaven's cross. And Brennan went in there hard, got the ricochet. It wasn't a real threat on the target, but certainly it's a corner. Pallister creeping onto that near post. 
Mowbray is in there on the edge of the area, moving in now. Wasn't well enough struck, though. Another chance. Again, the target, not an easy one for Davenport, but it appeared to be deflected. Manchester United are claiming that it wasn't one of them who did it. But it's going to be another corner. Hamilton to take it. Again, it's Pallister and Davenport on the near post. Mowbray coming in, flicked on by Pallister, didn't really get a clean touch. Not well away by Milne. Robson still charges forward, but Brennan bypasses him delightfully. And that's a superb ball to Bernie Slaven. Can he get inside his man? And Brennan, who's having a real purple patch here, was not too happy about the finishing shot. Might have been better had it been on his left foot. He took it on his right and ballooned it over. But Mark Brennan is really playing superbly in midfield. So that's United with Tony Gill to take it. Mark Hughes is fouled. Gill races down the right, looking for the quick kick. But there's no opportunity there. Steve Bruce and Robson. Robson takes the quick one. Choosing to build it first before they cross it. Here goes Brian McClare. And a good header. And no real pressure for Stephen Pears in the end. But it was a nice move by United. And Brian McClare, who specialises in headers and volleys as much as anything, leaps well above Tony Mowbray. But the challenge meant it lacked power. Flag goes again for Davenport, offside. He's so eager to get on the score sheet against his old club. Looking very lively. And perhaps his name should have been in the book already. The scoring goals, that is. Certainly not for anything untoward. Well, hardly the most positive play from United there. wins that. Robson brings it down nicely. Bruce forward again. Tony Mowbray this time. Hughes gets a foot to it. Hughes looking very, very aggressive. Middlesbrough lost a little bit of shape at the moment. Nice one forward again, but a little bit too ambitious for Milne. Now Bernie Slaven. Finding uh, Glover here and Hamilton. Over on the left-hand side, and fullback Cooper's making a run from the right into the penalty area. And that wasn't a particularly good ball to him, but a nice idea from Hamilton. We're into time added on now in this first half, and a lot of people thought that was the whistle for the end of the first 45 minutes, but that, in fact, is an infringement. It's been fast, it's been furious, and the better chances have fallen, certainly to... Middlesbrough and Peter Davenport, but nothing so far. And that is the whistle for the end of the first half. Half time here at Essen Park, then is Middlesbrough nil, Manchester United nil. Still plenty of excitement to come, I'm sure. So the restart of the second half, then, with everybody, I think, needing a pause or two for breath, and one or two players of the thought needing a bit of patching up. Certainly Manchester United, who have a comparatively inexperienced side out once again, disregarding, of course, the Brian Robsons and uh, Brian McClares and one or two others like Bruce and Donaghy, but two games in the space of uh, 48 hours is tough on them. They used to do it in the old days, of course, but now sides are getting bigger breaks and it's an uneven spread of stress, so Alex Ferguson says, and it might be difficult for them in the second half. Not so much physically, it's the emotional strain of playing 
too many tough games on top of one another. Mistakes start to creep in, and it might become even more difficult for Rotherham referee John Key. Cooper, who's slotted into that right-back position after the injury to Parkinson in the first half. The chase by Burke, he's got a bit of room. There's a go at Donaghy. Burke again. Bruce challenging with Davenport. Not totally well clear, though, and Ripley has it now. Forward to Davenport, and beautifully blocked by Leighton. Not a totally orthodox, but very effective. And poor old Peter Davenport can't get on the score sheet. But now it's United on the break with Ralph Milne getting quite a bit of support. But a good challenge from Pallister with a lot of help from Brennan and Cooper. And it's all over. And four they come again. And that one's knocked out of play. Well, Davenport did superbly here. He was involved in that flick on. When it's cleared, it's then built up, first of all, by Glover to Ripley. Davenport's already on the move. Ripley's seen him. Now the target is open, and Leighton has done a, a good job for Manchester United. And Davenport thwarted once again. And still he's working at it, though. Good play, and Slaven's going forward. Surely he must score. Was that a foul? It was. Bundled off the ball. Middlesbrough claiming that that was a direct foul inside the area. The referee says it's outside. Brennan has the big dig, especially with the left foot, but it was well blocked by United. Back now. Hamilton under pressure quickly. Burke. Hamilton goes down the left. Donaghy blocks it, and Beardsmore helps him out of trouble. Easily cut out by Pallister, and United are really rocking here. Pallister can't get the return, though, and that was nice play by Ralph Mill. Hughes and Mowbray clashing. Hughes thinks he should get a free kick, but the referee says play on. And he's in a little bit of trouble as Middlesbrough take their time about getting forward again. Now the pace is pushed up. Nice bit of play here by Davenport from Slaven. Slaven's gone for the return. United really rocking here. Brennan goes for another one and deflected onto the bar and Davenport misses. Davenport doing well to get on the end of that one. But how lucky United were when Mark Brennan thumped in the left foot shot. It was deflected beyond the reach of Jim Layton and it hits the bar. What a drive. There's the deflection. And Leighton didn't know anything about it. And he wouldn't have known anything about that either if that had been on target. But it wasn't. So United, quite fortunate at the moment to be nil-nil. A little bit earlier, of course, against Liverpool, they were saying the same thing. They conceded a goal and they immediately came back with tremendous play and great fighting spirit. But it's uh, Middlesbrough who seem to have this game by the scruff of the neck at the moment. Pallister getting it forward. They're in the outstanding feature, although they haven't scored, is the play of Slaven and Davenport. Brennan in midfield. But can they get that vital breakthrough? McGrath to Ralph Milne. Hamilton's pinched it off him. Well, somehow they get it away. Brennan again to Ripley. And it's Cooper trying to get a shot in. And it's pushed away somehow for a corner. Hamilton did well to get that ball in in the first place. Then Davenport forces Bruce to miss head straight down to Brennan. And the shot in the end was blocked by Gill. Here's the corner, Ripley. Slaven. Well blocked again, and Mowbray into the side netting. They cannot get the ball into the net. 
but it's certainly all Middlesbrough here. Ripley doing well to win that one. It's turned by Davenport. Slaven has a go, blocked by Bellhorn late, and then Mowbray into the side netting. It couldn't be closer. Substitution for United. On comes Mark Robbins for Russell Beersmore. 56 minutes gone. More than certainly one or two of the United youngsters feeling the pace of this second game in two days. Robson, a casual ball. Fortunate to get it back. He's trying, understandably, to slow the pace down, make Middlesbrough do a little bit more running, but they are, and they're doing it effectively, and they're winning the ball back. Robson forward again, that's a better ball for Robbins to chase. Mark Robbins, another of these youngsters, a prolific goal scorer in the youth and Central League teams. Wearing 12. Hamilton and up and under going the wrong way and so too did Pallister. Hughes is in there, Pallister puts it straight to Robbins and Mowbray calmly takes it off the youngster. So Robbins has uh, learnt a quick lesson there. They don't get as much time at this level. Robson back again by Pallister. Bruce and McGrath straight to Glover. Burke against McGrath. And that looked like uh, an appeal for a penalty, but the referee doesn't turn a hair, which might be a bit difficult for him. Gill trying to knock a simple ball forward to Robbins, but he couldn't manage it. Well, was this uh, an infringement? by Steve Bruce. No, says Mr. Key. Davenport, a lovely turn. Ripley couldn't get it. Mal Donaghy. McGrath. Feels for handball against Mark Hughes. He certainly thundered rather painfully as Middlesbrough break Burke with support on the left that he couldn't find. Now Hughes has come back well, but that's a great interception by Cooper. Ripley has gone wide. It's a fine cross, and Davenport has hit the bar. What wretched luck he's having. That was a wonderful move by Middlesbrough. A particularly good bit of play by Cooper. Simple ball to Ripley. An excellent near post cross. Davenport does everything right, but it won't go in for him. But it must be some consolation to hear the home crowd chanting his name. They certainly never did that at Old Trafford. And four, they come again. Bernie Slaven against Bruce and McGrath. Burke this time with another good cross. Away by Mal Donaghy. Ripley's in there. Brennan couldn't get it. Ripley's shot. And it hardly reached goalkeeper Jim Layton. But Middlesbrough are really playing some fine football. Hughes again under pressure. Did the ball go out? It did. It isn't Mark Hughes' happiest day. Quite often he's been a lone battler for United. Davenport and Ripley. Very anxious to get on with it, and it's not surprising. Bernie Slaven to Ripley. Nice, simple, quick ball to Mark Brennan. A lot of support from the back. Hamilton. Certainly over-ambitious. But nobody's complaining too much because they're all eager. They're all showing plenty of confidence.
Burke beating McGrath there. Away goes Davenport against Steve Bruce. Davenport's done him. Good cross. Here's Ripley. So close once again. And Tony Gill has a chance to get it away for United. Hughes fouled, I think, by Tony Mowbray. No, just the throw in. Cooper gets it forward well. That's a more difficult ball from Brennan. But Hamilton tidies up for Burrow. Very little to do so far for Burrow's goalkeeper, Stephen Pears, but I would so desperately like to see one going at the other end. Cooper rather over ambitiously trying to get Ripley to get on his motorbike and go down the right, but not at this stage of the game, surely. And Jim Layton has seen his defence beaten, has seen the woodwork save him, but he's also pulled off a couple of useful saves himself. It wasn't a particularly good kick, and it wasn't a great bit of uh, head work by Mark Burke. And Layton can start again. Another United player has had quite a few injuries, but he's had to carry his and play on. Hamilton again. Beardsmore couldn't get it. It's Burke again to attack the centre of the United defence. It's Slaven. And there's a good cross. But hacked away. Mowbray surely calls for it and took it, but he took it into trouble. And it's Hughes who's fouled, but Hughes is now pulled up. And that really wasn't a great bit of refereeing, I'd have thought. Hughes was clearly fouled there by Cooper. The linesman's flag goes up because the referee, he thought, would say play on. But he doesn't because he's stopped the play to book the middle for a defender. And... Manchester United penalised there themselves as well. Steve Bruce. And as Hamilton got that one away, he was certainly thundered. The referee said, I noted that one. Well, it's too late as far as Hamilton's concerned. He's still shaken. But it's Ripley against Sharp, and Ripley's done him. Slaven, Davenport, Davenport's got it. And it was a miscue from Bernie Slaven that finally set him up. What a strange way to score your first goal against your old club. But Ripley did a brilliant job on that right-hand side. And Davenport quite rightly going over to congratulate him. He turns Lee Sharp, then accelerates past him. And from that moment on, United were in big trouble. Slaven... Surely had the better chance here, he could have knocked it in, but just towed it aside for Davenport, and it's in the back of the net, the spell is broken. 1-0. Well, nobody could deny that Peter Davenport has deserved that, and that will really boost their confidence. Here's Bernie Slaven, and a great drive. Well, how many times is that they've hit the woodwork? Slaven with a power drive from outside the area. Pretty well locking this game up. Wonderful run. Backpedalling by United. So he accepts the invitation. He beats Leighton, but not the bar. So it's something of a surprise that it's still 1-0 to Borough. Winning most of the crucial battles, though. And I don't think there's any doubt that a few of the United players are feeling the physical pressure now. Gill is running around there, but it's somewhat ineffectually. Robson is beaten. And again, there's a physical challenge after that ball has gone.
Flag going over the far side. The linesman over the far side getting involved uh, in a quick substitution with uh, United taking Tony Gill off and bringing David Wilson on. And Slaven, who's really had a tremendous second half, and a fine ball forward for Burke to put a lot of pressure on Paul McGrath. First game back since October the 1st. He is, I'm absolutely certain, feeling a few aches and pains now. Well won by Pallister. Burke. Pallister will be careful of that back pass, but Ryan McClare was well off that one. Well, it's slowed a little bit, but there have been periods of tremendous football by Middlesbrough. Desperate defending by United, and real surprise among this uh, holiday crowd of almost 25,000 that Middlesbrough aren't leading by more than that one Peter Davenport goal. Stuart Ripley gets the verdict. More warming up of substitutes. We'll give a Jim Layton to the rescue. Burke and offside there. Hughes still keeps going, but he's making life difficult for himself. Sharp gets the verdict there, but well, I thought he got the verdict, and so did he. But nothing is going for United at the moment. Trying to change direction, but it's not well done, and United can break forward. Paul McGrath with his socks down and calf muscles aching, no doubt. And a fairly poor clearance in the end by Middlesbrough. And concentration as well as legs are going here. McGrath has had eight knee operations but is still going. Pumping that one in. Pallister getting it out. Brennan helping on. Bruce. Ralph Milne on his flank. Mowbray and Pallister went for it, and a shot, and a good shot by David Wilson. I think the goalkeeper was relieved to see that go wide, but unusual to see the big central defenders going for the same ball. It was really amateurish, but the shot was well hit. Well won by Cooper. Ripley robbed by Lee Sharp. And he's still fighting on. Robson gets them out of trouble. Again, that was Pallister almost causing problems for himself, but that back pass caused a few anxious moments on the terraces, and they're getting themselves into unnecessary problems here. Brian McClare from Brian Robson. Now they're out of it. Brennan to Bernie Slaven and Ripley pinched by Mark Robbins and that's a better ball from Bernie Slaven to Mark Burke against McGrath he leaves him behind Burke still going can he get the shot in he's not sure what the ball is and I don't think he's too sure where the target is either he certainly left McGrath behind a little bit surprised that the ball was still with him when it appeared that Steve Bruce had taken it off him, sizes it up and snatches at it. Free kick to United. Still they have a chance of pinching a point. By all the laws 
of probability they shouldn't have. A number of times Middlesbrough have uh, hit the woodwork. But with only 1 0 at this stage, United can still get something. Brian Robson's kick. Robbins went in there with a swinging boot, but it was comfortably cleared in the end. Brian Robson again. Wilson, two against one. That's nothing. And it's Middlesbrough who are hanging on a little bit here. And who'd have thought that, the way the game has gone for most of this match? And although United must be filling their legs uh, after that match against uh, Liverpool yesterday, they're doing well now to take the game to Middlesbrough. Mark Hughes. And it's a good ball for Ralph Milne. Can he get inside Pallister? Can he pull one back? He certainly couldn't pull it far enough back. And that was an impossible one for Brian McClare on the way in. And the cross, not up to scratch, really. Infringement there. A bit of urgency about United's play. Urgency uh, amongst the dogs as well as the supporters watching. And Middlesbrough really being forced back, and the back pass has been cut off. And United have grabbed the initiative. Some urgency coming from the Middlesbrough bench. Bruce Rick was. Uh, come onto the line to try and get his team going again, but it's United who are driving forward. Ralph Milne challenging there, and the shot was not a particularly good one. Ryan McClare shaping for one of those specialist volleys of his, but this would have been a really good one to get onto target, because the ball would not come down for him. He's got to hit it almost at the top of the arc. Bruce little nudge and that's not a good ball for McGrath he's done well to keep possession being harassed by Burke McGrath rather hoping it would stay up the other end a little bit longer because he gives away the throw in and it gives Middlesbrough a bit of a respite in what has been a good spell for United when they should really have been dead and buried. Now, Mark Brennan, been unlucky a couple of times himself, but was out fought there more than once. Ripley beaten, but that's a good quick ball to Bernie Slaven. Checking back on Sharp and trying to find Davenport. Fails by a yard or two. Middlesbrough supporters trying to encourage the referee to blow the whistle for 90 minutes, but it's still United going forward looking for that equaliser. McClare to Brian Robson. Well, for him, that was a useful opportunity. He must be as tired as anybody because he has worked as hard as ever. How good a chance was that? Well, quite a good opportunity, but it had to have been a terrific shot to beat the goalkeeper. Now the Ayrson Park crowd in good voice as they can sense the fact that they're going to get three points from the glamorous Manchester United. Haven't got them yet though. For Davenport it's been a good game. It'll all be nothing if they don't get the points in the end. Hughes is brought down once again. And that merits a booking for Dean Glover. Hughes really must have a lot of bruises to be tended after this game. It's just one of the challenges that uh, must have been pretty painful. 
We're into time added on now. Manchester United look as if they're going to go down by the only goal scored by their former colleague Peter Davenport, who will quite clearly end up as the hero as a referee John Key blows for the end of a game in which Middlesbrough could easily have won by more. They played really well, but in the end, Peter Davenport, the hero, Middlesbrough won Manchester United nil.